Oh, I'm such a ning nong. I took a photo instead of pressing start. Hello, my creative friends. Oh, let's move the camera on the other side. That's better. Gonna mix up some paints, but I'll do it in fast motion. The interesting thing that we're doing today is that I made up some pouring medium last night of Floetrol and gel medium. And gel medium makes it thicker. So I added it until I got that really nice thick consistency that we uh, like. And the other thing that I'm hoping for with this is that the, you know, the Floetrol is nice and creamy and velvety. I can feel this has got a bit more maybe friction within it. And I'm thinking that it might activate um, more cells and whatnot. But anyway, just thought I'd uh, let you know that that's what's different about this paint today. Floetrol plus gel medium. Now I've used the gel medium to thicken up um, the mica powders in the other video. I think, I can't remember which number video, just look for the video that says mica powders were using a thickening gel medium. And that is the brand gel medium that I used. I um, find it a massive chore listing everything that I uh, do on my description and I need to make my YouTube process as enjoyable as possible because after all it is something that I do to help me record my own processes to help my students that I teach in workshops have ongoing access to discoveries particularly failures because through our failures we know we do our greatest learning but can you tell I'm gonna crap on and we don't want a crap on session unless you do if you want a crap on session and hear me crap on oh my god just put yes let's hear you crap on Maggie in the comments and I'll do a sit down crap on crap on session for you and it will blow your mind or you'll roll your eyes more like it okay what colors I'm going to use some metallic ice gold and I'm going to mix up some turquoise oh did you even see that there we go some metallic ice gold and I want to mix up some coastal turquoise into that to get some shimmer and just to see what that effect will be like I think that the gold reflecting out of that turquoise will look amazing um, shout out to Gilly Cube I'm going to use a lavender purple and mix in some warm red to get a great magenta happening then I'm just going to have some metallic fuchsia and a burnt umber I decided to get um, maybe some harbonite and some burnt umber so that's what I'm going to do and I will um, show you how I mix everything up and fast forward the process all right Okie dokie. No silicon. And so the first thing that I want to test this mixture with is the magic tree. So I need to think about what my swiping colour is going to be. And it's going to be the brown umber. And... So I've just gone and got my other colours because I'm wondering why I was so short on colours. And so off I go. Oh, I'm just wondering if that's too thick. Oh. I just think it's the tiniest bit too thick. I'm going to just add a tiny bit of water into all of my paints. Oh, sorry about the delay. Oh, I've done it. Okay, I think the paints are good now. They're going to have to be, aren't they? Okay, so I'm going to start with some blue. Just 
doing the three lines, the three line look draw. I don't really know what that means. Yeah, I've drawn it three times. And I don't want to be too thick with my paint. So, oh, look how unco I am today. I feel really um, not very coordinated and clumsy and I feel like it looks it too. Gee, that's no good. Oh, Jasmine, it's okay. We'll be going for a walk soon. Oh, with all the rain, she's um, wanting to go for a walk and no one's home. So I'm like, well, we're not going for a walk. We're doing a poor, <laughs> poor little chicky girl. All right, I'm just playing with the paint now. Sorry, I'll, 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 let, I'll tell myself I'm allowed to have a play with the paint proper when we're not on camera, okay? I'll get some of that really nice magenta color up here. It's quite opaque, should look terrific. Remembering not to panic about how I lay it out, just simply knowing that I'll be swiping it so it all sort of comes together or not at some point. Is that drink bottle in the way of you? No, it's not. Okay. A little bit more there. Oh, really um, stringy, aren't I? And I want to just a little bit of the lighter, the fuchsia near the pink because it all, it looks nice when it does that. And take some of that through the sky blue. Now I'm just going to tilt and stretch this paint out a bit, just so I don't overload it because I so often overloaded oh you know it's already overloaded and i don't want to um lose too much paint by just chipping it off either okay that's better i think i might just pull this across like this with my little fingers they are little fingers, by the way. I have got ridiculously little hands, apparently. Let's do a swipe with my hand here. I just want to see how it is going for cells. Ew, not that promising. Looks like with this additive, it might need the, it might need an additive, even though it is Floetrol. Um, so the gel binder has done something to the flow troll because it's very uncommon not to get cells with flow troll. All right, well, I don't need to freeze and go into shock. I just need to keep moving, don't we? Okay, let's get this little bit down and then that little bit down. And the only color we don't have is the mintish. I've got the mintish out before. I've got you know, a couple of jars of most colours just as we collect paints as part of our pouring habits because I'll try not to say addiction because apparently that's not a nice thing to describe yourself as being an addict, whatever. Um, and anyway, the two mintishes were quite different in colour. Indeed. All right, well, I'm going to end up pulling quite a lot of that off. Not to worry, not to worry. Here we go. Straight down the middle. Let it spread a bit. And, oh, can't grab my smoking tool. Here it is, I've got it.
anything coming up? Nothing. Nothing's coming up. Nothing. How absolutely mortifying for us all. So before we go on much further, well, I may as well just swipe down the middle with this last bit here just to see how it goes. <laughs> oh. Well, let's see how it goes with the torching. Tiny, tiny. Reckon my paint's too thick. gone really quiet, haven't I? Well, it's the flow troll mix that had no cells. It's got a funny crackling. The gel medium, well, I had to use quite a lot of it to sort of make it get to the consistency that I wanted because I wanted it to be really thick. It's, um, done something else. Let's add a couple of drops of silicon in and then do a ring pour on top. Let me pause and I'll go and get some. Oh my God, well, I went and put spray, um, silicon into my cups and when I looked back at the pour, it's getting these amazing, tiny, tiny multitude of cells. Oops, there we go. Um, and now I wished I'd kept you on so that you could have seen it so you could have seen it happening. But look, they're starting to grow now. Alright, I'm gonna put you on hyperlapse and just see what happens. Because um that's bizarre. From nothing to that in literally I've only been two minutes. I'm so sorry I couldn't find the right app, so I'm just gonna give you another visual now. And I'm going to actually leave this to continue to do whatever it is that it's doing. And we'll come back and have a look at it in half an hour or so. Um, how unexpected, how incredibly very busy is it, which is fine because they're tiny and delicate. 
and um, certainly, have I said unexpected? Oh, how unexpected. Honestly, it looked like there was nothing there, didn't it? Okay. I'll come back in, I'll go and put the timer on for an hour, actually. We'll just see what it does. All right, so I'll remember that we're on that top pink bit. Remember that part there, I'll try and get the glare gone. Okay, there. Okay, it's been about an hour, and this is where we last looked at it. So there has been significant growth in this. Did I tell you that when I was um, doing that light torch flicker that I did, I could hear this kind of crackling. I wonder if it recorded. When I play this back, I'll have a look. But I really um, uh, found that incredibly interesting what's happened here. And I'm just going to not do any more work on this because I want to see, of course, how this pouring medium dries. Um, remember, it's made of Floetrol and the gel thickener. But I wonder what would happen next time if I made my paint a little bit thinner because look up here we've got big bigger shapes and cells and I was concerned remember I was like oh I think I need to thin it so that was a cool experiment oh that's a cool shot let's show you that happy creating everyone happy creating